TitleMatchNetwork.com. What were your experiences with Bobby the Brain Heenan, and where do you rank him as a manager and a commentator? Oh, way up there, you know, in the top five at least. Bobby the Brain, fabulous. He could wrestle too. He used to be Dick the Bruiser's manager in Indianapolis, and that's where he got his break. He would take bumps and everything. He was fabulous. He took those Ric Flair bumps, you know. Bobby the Brain, what a, what a talker, a lot of comedian. Very sad, you know, he, he ended up getting throat cancer and stuff. Very sad. He fought it for a long time, though. He would show up at the shows to do autographs and uh, he'd bring his wife with him and he couldn't talk. Yeah, but he'd try to talk, you know. He, he, what a guy. He, he fought right to the bitter end and always in a good mood. We were rolling hard back then, Bob. Uh. Man turned D.B. Ossie into a minister. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. Oh, man. He would tell a joke and his wife would translate it to me when I'd come over and see him. He lived down there in Florida with us uh, when we all lived in Florida. We all migrated to Florida, probably because of Hogan. And, and New York, you know, you didn't want to live around New York with always nasty weather. And at least New York, at least Florida had good weather, even though it rains a lot. It, and it was really hot, it would clear right off because, you, you know, it was the peninsula. Yeah. Yeah, so the weather was good. Who's the other guy you mentioned? Terry Taylor, he was a yeah. little rooster. Oh, gee. You know, he works, I saw him in Los Angeles not too long ago when they had WrestleMania. He's working backstage there. He always, this guy always gets a job. <laughs> Terry Taylor. I guess he's got a good mind for it, you know, whatever. But anyway, uh, that Red Rooster gimmick, and he would, God, he hated that gimmick. And Vince heard that he would take all that stuff out, he got out of the ring, and go through the airports. He goes, no, I want you to wear that Red Rooster gimmick in the airports and on the airplane. Crazy, I don't know if he ever did it, I just saw him a few times, and I think that he had the gimmick on. Red Rooster. Where do they thought? Where would they think of that? The way he, maybe he did the Ric Flair strut or Buddy Rogers strut, whatever you call it. And but he, he think it looked like a cockadoodle do, cockadoodle do. <laughs> Crazy gimmicks. How were you able to just be Greg Valentine everywhere you went? Like, were you approached with ideas? Of no, like just the rhythm, just the rhythm and blues was the only thing. Yeah, I was just a mainstay there. It's the last of their 20 years. You know, Vince liked me and, and Vince Senior liked me and talent was, I had the talent. But the Rhythm of Blues thing was the only, the only thing I did different. And I, I don't begrudge that, I, I enjoyed that. TitleMatchNetwork.com